Augustine of Hippo de Trinitate, Episode 1. Liber primus, scribit adversus eos, qui ratione abutentes fidem corrumpent, de deo erdrordres tres. Lecturus haec quae de Trinitate de Serimus, pria supportet ut noveret, stilum nostrum adversus eorum vigilara columnias, qui fidei contemnentes initium immaturo et perverso rationis amore faluntur. The first book, Liber Primus. Here we have an editorial description of the content. This was not written by Augustine. He writes against those who, misusing reason, corrupt the faith. Concerning God, three errors, the setting forth of three errors. The person who is about to read these things, quite a trinitata de Ceremus, which I am discussing on the Trinity, it is important that he know, first, that our composition, Stilum Nostrum, is on guard against, Wigalara Adversos, is a guard against the slanders of those persons who, despising the beginning of the faith, by an adolescent or unfinished and twisted love of reason, are deceived. So he begins with lecturus, which is masculine singular nominative, and is a future active participle from the third conjugation verb, lego legere. Because it's active, it can take an object, and so it takes hike, which is neuter plural and accusative. Hike, in turn, is modified by this relative clause, quae through deceremus, the one who is about to read the things that we are discussing on the Trinity. Trinitata is feminine, singular, and ablative. It appears to be a word, Trinitas, that was coined by the father Tertullian, and he'd coined this term approximately 150 years, 150 years before the time of Augustine. So, lecturus is the subject of nowhere writ. The object of lecturus is hike, then modified by the quae phrase. And the main verb in this entire sentence is apportit. It is necessary, first, that he know. And who is the subject of nowhere writ? It's lecturus. That he know that, stilum nostrum. Nowhere writ is from the verb nosco, it's third conjugation, nosco, noscore, no we, and the fourth principal part is notus. It introduces oratio obliqua, indirect statement, the subject of which is stilum, which is masculine, singular, and accusative, and the verb, or the verbal, is the infinitive wigilare, which is a first conjugation verb, wigilare. Stilum, if you look it up in the dictionary, the lexicon, it's stilus e, like so, masculine, and it means a pen, an instrument for writing, like stylus, but it comes by metonymy, or transference, to mean composition. So that person who is about to read, he must know that our composition is on the lookout for, it's awake, it's on watch, adversus, adversus calumnias. Adversius patterns with the accusative, and calumnias is feminine plural accusative, against the slanders of those persons. Aorum here is the masculine plural genitive, which is the genitive of possession with calumnias the slanders belonging to those people who. Here we see the very familiar pattern of is qui, that is, the demonstrative being used as a pronoun, and then the relative, of those persons who, what, despising, because they despise the initium fidei, the starting point of the faith, that's their motive, according to Augustine. They look down on the rudiments, or the starting point of the faith, feminine, singular, and genitive. Because they do that, they are deceived, faluntur. This from the third conjugation, follow, falare. It's a third plural present indicative passive. They are deceived by an ablative of instrument, masculine singular, ablative amore. They are deceived by a, an ungrown or an immature, an adolescent, and twisted love of reason. So, despising the faith, they are led astray by their perverse and twisted love of reason. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.